Hello Scrapping Divas, this is Anna coming to you with another little project. Um, I just felt like doing something. I have no particular reason. <laughs> I just felt like doing something different and I altered this. This is um, from the dollar store. It's just one little piece of oval wood <laughs> and I um, crackle painted it, all of it and I didn't add this on there this came with it to hang on a wall so I just put kind of like a butterscotch looking um, uh, acrylic paint then I use the um, the crackle medium and then of course the white on top of it and then I put vintage photo all the way around it and I also, I also ripped up let me get up um, you see these are part of those vintage bags so I modged podge of those on so it's sporadically underneath everything different pieces of it will be hanging out then this right here I was watching Arlene's vid and she got one of these punches from um, Jade but I, they didn't have the exact one she had um, used so this was the next best and I totally love it it's so stinking cute they have them at Joann's they're, I think, I don't know if they're $15, $16, but yes, I did use my coupon. <laughs> so that is what I used um, around here, and that's the design it gives all the way around. So it does the corners plus the straight punches, and it does everything in one inch increments. So if you have a, you know, four by six, you know, a, a three by four, everything has to be in whole inches, not three and three quarters and kind of like Martha Stewart's I have hers a lot of hers but they tend to get confusing because someone like myself I'm not really good with measurements I'm a guesstimate type of person <laughs> and this one right here it's all in inches so you can't go wrong so this one right here is a four by six and then I used um, Tim Holtz's um, dress form love it love it love it and I just put some seam binding around her waist um, a vintage faux vintage button and I just cut off the shank in the back and then I just put some pearls along her neckline and then that's the little spool that comes with um, his die and I just wrapped some binding um, some oh my gosh I just lost my train of thought oh my goodness seam binding jeez and then I just stuck a stick pin that I made at the end of it and it just goes through the actual binding this right here is a flower I made I watched the um, Cynthia Luhu's um, tutorial she did on these. I guess it's supposed to be a duplicate of um, some Prima flower. And I know that Rena also did it, Scrapstress. And, um, but I don't know if she did a tutorial. But these are the flowers. Um, I used one of them finally. I made them and put it on a previous vid. But this time I um, actually put it on a project. I love it. It's so fun and super easy. That's just a little gold charm. It's a um, vintage charm. And um, these right here are um, felt, and um, they're um, from a Sizzix die that has these three little squiggly thingies, and these are the different sizes. And then I just put little flat back pearls on the top. And this felt right here is actually a stiffened felt, so it's not as flimsy um, as the regular one I got from Michaels. I wanted to try out the stiffened one and see how it worked, and um, it actually it works pretty good. I like them both probably two different reasons but I do like them both I still want to try out MFT's um, felt to see how theirs is so this right here is a spray that I got from Michaels and this is it right here so it's a wall hanging oh and that's the button that comes with um, the die too and I just put some string through it and everything is um, uh, distressed with the vintage photo the dress form the spool the button the actual wood so, this is my project. Love it. Super cute. Okay. And then, um, I was watching a video. Man, I totally forgot her name. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to find... I'm going to have to get credit and put it at the bottom of this video. Because she makes these sprays and she sells them. And I was like, you know what? Let me just try it for poops and giggles. And see, <laughs> and see what I can do. This right here. Let me see. It's a Sizzix dye I have. It's called um, Branch and Leaves. And um, so you can't really see, but this is like an actual... Yeah, you can a little bit right there. Let me see. 
yeah, you see the glitter that's on there. I actually bought um, an 8x11 sticker and it has different glitter color and what I did is I stuck it onto the actual cardstock and then I ran it through. So everything already came together. I didn't have to glue it all on separately. So, okay, here we go. And then I just put a butterfly. I have that punch and this is pearls that are in between. I have this little tiny punch from forever and I doubled it up. So what it is is the bottom down here is blue and then this is a pink flower. So they're um, very soft colors. And then a Martha Stewart punch does these and then I just sporadically put some bling. And this right here is I Am Roses. And these leaves are I Am Roses. And then I just sporadically put them everywhere. So <clears throat> this may not be like other people's, but I just really truly wanted to try something that was, you know, that was different. And this was actually really fun. Very tedious. <laughs> But I really totally enjoy it. I'll probably make a few more. But it was really fun. Okay, so these are my two little projects I worked on today. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. You guys have a fabulous day. Bye!